Fellow tennis nerds, Hello. welcome to a bit of a different video today. Here with Joe Lorenzo, father to Shane Lorenzo, one of the patrons, a fellow tennis nerd. And he wanted a new racket for his father, uh, who also wanted a new racket, I guess. Yep. And this is what you, um, yep. this is what you used to play with, and you played two and a half hours, so he was very sore today. Uh, but uh, but you're getting back more into more into tennis, right? Absolutely. I've, well, I've, I've joined the uh, Linense Tennis Club. Yeah. And uh, I was playing with that racket. Plus, uh, I've got an Agassi mm -hmm. racket, which nearly pulled me shoulder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's one of those and, old uh, rackets, right? I thought gee, I couldn't wait to come over today and try different rackets with you and yeah, see yeah. what you thought. And been, the, uh, the Agassi one uh, is it's very heavy, right? It's like one of all the head rackets. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine. And and the strings, like I said, uh, it's uh, so you said uh, what type of they haven't been changed for about ten years. Yeah. So yeah. it's like a trampoline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get no control, and then tennis is not so much fun. So the whole purpose of today was to try quite a wide a wide variety of rackets, but um, go a little bit lighter than his one. This is heavy, uh, thick grip. It's a 315 gram Extreme Pro. Not a bad racket if you like it, but it, you need to really like get under the ball, and it, yeah, it gets. Yeah. You can feel like it, the balance is, is yeah. quite, it's a heavy racket uh, with the multi-filament. So uh, we ended up testing um, a well, bunch of rackets. I bought like maybe 15, brought 15 rackets. Uh, and uh, you're feeling, you were looking for like an instant connection to the racket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some rackets you were like, oh, it's pretty good, but you were not convinced by them. I think that was most of the rackets. A few words about how this test was made. As I knew nothing of Joe's level or style beforehand, I brought a bunch of rackets with various different specs and strings. Some rackets like the Shift Pro, similar to his old racket in specs, all the way down to very light rackets like the Fury Armor Lite, Head Boom MP Lite, and then more middle ground rackets like the regular Boom MP, Bolt B100 and Dunlop CX400 Tour. Joe is a recreational player who hasn't played loads of tennis in recent years, but he's slowly getting back to it. And the most important thing for him was to find a racket that he connected to and could feel confidence in. It's one Absolutely. Yeah. That this one you like quite a lot, right? Yeah, I did. I did. This is the Boom MP Lite. So uh, what, what did you think was, well, was well, nice Well, I thought it was nice and light and easy to hit and all that, but there was no, a lot of control. Yeah. The racket was fine, mm. balanced, but it, I, I didn't feel the, the ball coming off the strings enough yeah didn't hold the, the ball in the strings enough yeah so i found it a little bit awkward and not as balanced yeah uh all the others well th there were some that i actually did like i actually this one yeah yeah i thought you would like that one was I, kind of my uh, second I liked one that one and that was a uh, very nice to hit yeah uh, the same as uh well i tried all of them but between I think uh, maybe this one was another nice Yeah, yeah you, this one you hit pretty good with. This is my father's favorite, right? So oh, was it? He's 67, oh, well. he likes yeah, that one Fury. as well. Fury, yeah. Yeah, he plays with the Fury, 98, Fury Arma Pro 98. Yeah. Yeah, this, this one is interesting because it's like a little bit bigger than 100, but it's still um, quite narrow. You see the racket yeah, is quite yeah. narrow. Yeah, it was, it was nice to, to feel the ball yeah, yeah. coming out of the strings. But when you gave me this one to try, that, that was a different ball game. This yeah, one, yeah. You know, this, this really grips the ball in there control and plenty of power well, yep. well more than enough for me yeah but i just found the whole thing was balanced properly and i can hit the ball easier yeah it sounds nicer i can get it in the middle not that smack in the middle i'm too yeah. old for that <laughs> <laughs> hey would you, you did i mean to be fair like this one instantly i could see like the expression on your face change a bit you were like oh, i enjoy you, you were enjoying the hit you know oh, you could, you yeah, could see I was, it yeah. i definitely was it's only when I, I miss Q one of them or I, whatever, yeah. I, I, I yell out, you know, but yeah. I, I'm not going to break a racket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too expensive. Too you, expensive. Have a, you have a lot of rackets to break here. Yeah. No. Uh, now, that would be an interesting session. So, this is a, a Bolt. Uh, it's an uh, inventor uh, who has been on my podcast, Brett Bothwell, who came up with this brand and introduced something called SIP strips, right? So, they're like strips that generate energy without um, like hurting your arm. So, it makes the racket quite more comfortable. And you get some good energy, and the, the feeling here is very nice. Oh, beautiful! Yeah. It really is. For a bloke, for a bloke that I, you know, I'm, I stayed when I was 50, just didn't know about grips or anything. Yeah. So I really don't know a lot about tennis, technique, and all that. But enough to to feel that. How much nicer is that racket? Yeah. Right? That's great. It's a it's a little bit lighter than a 300 gram racket, so with strings 312. Uh, which I think is good and has nice weight, but not nothing excessive where you can't swing it, right? I could see that one on your shots. And you hit nice serves with it, especially, which is uh, one of the most important shots in tennis, I would say. It is, it is uh, by far, yeah. 
All right, yeah. so uh, how often are you going to play tennis now? Every day now because you get... Well, it'll be at least four days a week. Oh, yeah? Very oh, good. Yeah. At least four days a week. So you got to keep the body going, right? Well, uh, you know, I've, I've got a few... Uh, the cheeks of my bum, they feel a bit, uh, you know... I can Two feel and a half hours where yesterday. They, where there used to be muscles there, and now they're all sore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, my shoulder, obviously, yeah. uh, and the body, obviously, movement, all that. But I feel pretty good uh, apart from that, apart yeah. from falling apart. I feel pretty good. We're all falling apart. I play but, almost um, every day, so it's no, like you it, feel uh, I just Well, it's only, normally you would play for an hour and a half mm. on, on that. Uh, there's about four leagues of different, uh, I haven't played with anyone uh, older than me. Obviously, yeah. I'm probably the oldest bugger there. But, uh, you have an about, excuse always then. If you lose, you're like, oh, I well, love the oldest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well I, I got thumped uh, yesterday, but it wasn't uh, nothing serious. But they're very consistent. Yeah. You know, they're, they're yeah. guys there, they've been playing for years. and. Uh, they got a. They haven't got. Um, well, they use the old technique, virtually what I use. Yeah, yeah. I try always to try and improve on that technique. Yeah. So you were really like when you were hitting steering. that you, you you were like okay I have to do more like this. So you were always thinking about what you were doing, yeah, which is a yeah. way to improve. 100%. And this is where I I need uh, plenty of practice and uh, at least four at least four days a week. I think I, I need to hour and a half by the time you you go there and you you have a shower there and. You have a few beers, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And, it helps, uh, it helps lubricate the muscles. Afterwards. Well, well, uh, that, that felt bloody damn good when I was the first beer. Yeah. I was thirsty as I, I was drinking all day, but oh, geez, I, but uh, no, it was good. I, I just love the tennis, and it's good. You're outdoors, you know. Yeah. The heat doesn't worry me. I've, Shane probably worries about uh, <laughs> my son. Worries about the heat and all that. Yeah. But I, uh, I don't know why. I'm, uh, you're resistant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I don't worry. But he's all right. Today. When he's on the tennis court, he doesn't worry. Yeah, you know? yeah. And uh, he just coach, do you? Do you play any tournaments at all? I played uh, play doubles with this guy you're seeing over here, a very good player, Daniel, who's serving right now. Oh, okay. Uh, we won a ITF Masters title mm -hmm. a few days ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, so I play some some ITF Masters, which is 30 plus, but sometimes yeah. very good players, sometimes up and down, right? But uh, yeah, I, I try to play. Mainly, this is my job, right, with rackets and testing and YouTube and podcasts and stuff. So that's that's my main main right, thing. But yeah. but I try to play like almost every day. But you hit a, a perfect ball. You, you, you I'm, I'm trying it. to adapt, you know. Like I hit a lot with my father, so I know a little bit how to adapt to the balls. So you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, tennis is great for social activity as well Absolutely. as like so now when you're there, I guess. Absolutely. Like you, you have a create a nice community. Around. Yeah, there's 75 players in the whole. Oh, wow, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, that's very good. And uh, they they intermix with uh, paddle. Yeah. And uh, today it was a paddle day, but I, was, I can't make it. I've got, you know. So you play paddle as well? I used to. Oh, yeah. I used to when, when we lived over here mm -hmm. in uh, um, Fuengirola. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I used to like it. Yeah. But tennis is my. You know. yeah. yeah. And there's nothing wrong with paddle. Like I usually say, like, there's always like paddle tennis, they can coexist. The better sometimes pickleball riles people up in the US because you have to paint the extra lines on the court and stuff like right, that, and then yeah. you share spaces. And, yeah. Uh, but overall, it's good that people exercise no matter what I, they choose. I, I right? just. They, they play for fun, you know. Yeah. It's, it's uh, this uh, the tennis group. Yeah, it's yeah. all tennis players. We don't play with the uh, and it's the, the golden oldies. They're called. Yeah, oh, that's good. It's a good yeah, name. We, I like it. I like yeah, it. Uh, so it's like a bar I'd go to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's over 55s and uh, it's just a bit of fun. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't like to play anymore because I don't want to mix both. I'm going to get all. You know, problem. yeah, you can get a bit sore also because like different muscle group, different techniques. So if you start mixing the techniques and stuff, yeah, it can yeah, get a bit. I, I just don't want to do brutal. that. I, yeah. I'm too old for that. You know, you find yeah. your stuff you like and you yeah. stick to it. That's, well, it. that's it. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed you coming here and testing some rackets. I hope you got something out of it. You know, yeah, well, I got have, some I good tennis. Have. I really appreciate it. And uh, how often do you spend time together then when you're uh, Shane different? And I, yeah, yeah. I hardly have a hit. He, he's just so busy. Yeah, he does shift work. He's a sparky. Yeah, yeah. He does shift work and uh, working for the railways yeah, yeah. on, on, on some breakdowns. Like so um, he yeah, does yeah, 10 yeah, hours a day, four days a week. But then he's got the kids, you know, he's, and he's busy ass. And of course, he doesn't just do uh, tennis, he does wakeboarding. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, it's an uh, awesome activity. Yeah. My granddaughter, the 13 year old Indy, she, uh, she's pretty good. She's doing 360s, coming out of, out of, wow, the, okay. out of the, uh, what do you call them? Out of the water. Yeah, yeah. Whatever they are. And, uh, and he's pretty good, he just loves it, and they go there quite often, you know. They've already, well, it'll be coming on winter, but even winter they go. What? Uh, winter over there, it's not that cold. No, 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 it sounds so, great. Um, yeah, and the young bloke, well, he, uh, he's 14, but he's into the boxing, completely different, but he loves it, so. It's kind of like you know. tennis, except that you, uh, you have a 
a net in between you. You know, it's yeah, like a one yeah. one against one, and yeah. one on one. Yeah. I don't know whether you've seen it, but he, he might have put something on YouTube uh, with the uh, Mia, the six-year-old. All right, no, well, no actually, I she just that, turned yeah. seven. Okay, she just turned seven, and you would not from when she was four picked up a rack a little, yeah. the baby one, and she was just cleaning the ball. You know, so very good. Uh, Jordan is there. He's got four. Yeah. You know? It's a busy, busy life, right? Four kids oh, so is a lot. A problem. You know, yeah. Jordan's four, five now, and uh, well, five in um, in July, the fifth of July, and uh, yeah, well, he's so busy, so so he, he finds it hard to even get a game in. But yeah. he's trying to get some uh, some guy or some team to join and and play, uh, you know, evenings or whatever they play. Yeah, yeah. Some, sometimes you need. It's good, good for you. It's stress, yeah. stress relief of something well, it else. Is. Yeah, it is absolutely, and this is. My my stress relief too because yeah. you know I'm so far away from and all that sort of stuff. It yeah. makes it a little bit harder time. Yeah. But if you if you're hitting the ball, you're not worried about it. You just worry about it. You're the in ball. the zone. You're in the yeah, zone. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice meeting you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm, yeah. I might see you. I might bring you one day. And thanks, absolutely. man. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Don't forget to play some tennis.